Greetings, critical viewers. We're back with more Amnesia the Great Work. We're still in Chapter 2, Alcahest. And it's been a couple days since I've played this, actually, because... I went out of town for the weekend. Shit. Holy fuck. Okay, alright, well this episode started off with a bang. Didn't it? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, should I refill my oil or not? <sighs> and I was like, well, maybe there's a full refill barrel down here. Good God. Well, now it's full. And I could have saved the oil, but wasn't that smart. Good God. Did I just see him move around? Hello? Is he out here? Good. Fuck. Fuck! <sighs> okay. Well, I saw him. That's a, that was a pretty good, pretty good model. Like, holy shit. Those are all like modified suitor noise. What is this? What do you say? I heard him talking. Uh, Fuck. He's in here. No, he's not. He's not in here, but he's close. Shit. Why am I such a chicken? Let's go kick his ass. Come on. I'll just let him wander around a little more. He, he doesn't need to have his ass kicked just yet. By me, of course. What's my memento for this area? Oh, the shard, shit. Okay. Fuck. Don't come out here. Fuck, I just saw him whip around. I, I'm guessing I have to go into the place where he came from. Here! Oh shit! Let's get a good look at you! Oh shit! Whoa! Okay. Well, I just wanted to see what would happen. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I have to go into the area where he came from. Oh my god, where am I? Okay, we'll try to go down. Weren't there two entrances? Am I using my oil? Oh shit. Okay. Hmm. Oh. 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 Maybe it'll come out now. Well, I think I found it. Time to exit? Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have to go that way after all. I'm a dummy. Is this the, no, it's the private study. We do not want to go back there. Shit. I would so die if this was real life. <sighs> okay. So, we're finally exiting this area. The address of the library wasn't far, but it started storming on my way. I constantly looked over my shoulder, but nothing seemed to be following me. Even so, I ran and ran all the way across London, never stopping, even when the cold rain and exhaustion made my legs scream in pain. Charles Longdon is long-suffering. What a funny word, long suffering. Oh, we're on chapter three. Well, that's perfect. Clock. I'll just pretend like I started on chapter three. What was that? Whoa, are you, you okay? Oh God, I do not want to go down that hallway. What was that? I can't leave, can I? Can I just leave? Oh, I guess it's... Well, I guess it's storming out, so... Alright, fine. You know what I like to do with these knights? I like to behead them. It's just... It's so disrespectful, you know? 
What a terrible thing to do to someone. Yeah, that golem thing is really well done, but, uh... It's not particularly scary. What just happened? I lagged out really bad just... <laughs> okay, let me clarify something. For some reason, I... I uh, on some of my older videos where it lagged like even worse than it does now, I got comments like I didn't do that, but I'm proud because I hate learning. Uh, books are nothing but vehicles for learning. Tinder books! That was a late Tinder box. But um, I got some comments like that I have a shit PC or something like that. And it's like, no, dude, it's because... Fraps, the program that I use to record, takes up a lot of processing power. Like, a lot. I didn't like the leaves on that thing, but they're still... Oh, they just disappeared. Um, I don't like this either. They just look stupid. Get rid of them. Ooh, look. Look what I found. The great work. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, but it's not that like I have a shit BC. It's just that Fraps is really demanding. Geber has been noted as one of the first alchemists to theorize the possibility of metal transmutation. His complete work... What was that? The 112 books have served as a guide for many notable alchemists, past and present, among them is outlined the description of the Philosopher's Stone, belie believed to be the catalyst for completing the great work. The work itself composes the three main goals of modern alchemy, which is the transmutation of lead into gold, the creation of a living homunculus, well, we, I think we've experienced that, and the attainment of immortality. Interesting. Thank you. Well, I, I think that's all that was supposed to be in this, uh, in this room. Okay, that shuffling about, I didn't really appreciate that during my dramatic reading. Oh my god. <sighs> this sucks, man. I do have a hammer and chisel, or hammer and chipper. Um, I didn't go down this, um, hallway down here. That was really well done. Very subtle, and I think the key to horror games is, uh, subtlety, if you ask me. Because hooga booga can only get you so far, you know what I mean? Things that are, things that, what, what's scary is the unknown. And, uh, when you leave, the more that you leave to the imagination, the better. Okay, I'll, I'll stop yapping, though, and, and yap. Some more about the Heartlib cap. Uh, the Heartlib Circle. At its nexus, it was an association of personal friends. Heartlib and Dury were the two key figures. Cominius, despite their best efforts, always remained a cause they were supporting rather than a fellow coordinator. Around them were Hubner, Hawk, Pell, Moriayan, Rulis, Houghton, and Apelius, later to be joined by Sadler, Cole Peeper, Worsley, Boyle, and Clodius. But as soon as one looks any further than this from the center, the lines of communication begin to branch and cross, threading their way into the entire intellectual community of Europe and America. It is a circle with a definable center, but an almost infinitely extendable periphery. Well, geez. Someone smart. Someone likes books. Uh, I've had my freaking lantern on this entire time. I don't need it. Well, I kind of want it, though. Uh, you know, if you could just shut it, that would be great. Oh my god, there's a lot of books here. Holy crap. Am I supposed to be looking for something in particular? I mean, that one book was, like, glowing, so I lucked out there. Beheaded! And, uh... Yeah. You too, sir. I have no respect for you. Okay, let's see. Uh, you and your intellect. See, it's a commentary. 
It's not even. It's not just a joke. It's a. It's a social commentary about how we disrespect ourselves by neglecting our intelligence. Get it? That that book is rather small compared to the other ones. Really, this isn't like a key item or anything. Really. I just noticed that it was small, that's all. What do I get for it? Nothing. Tinderbox! Oh yes, the tinderboxes. Mm-hmm. Thirteen! That's a good number. A good number to have indeed. Now, let's see. Books. I don't really like books. Well, I like setting them on fire. That's about it. Not really anything else, really. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for the for the books. Wait, which way did I come down? That sucks. Shut it! Okay, I came down this way. Stop it. This is uh, creepy. This is creepy. Oh, there was signs of struggle in here. Oil! I'll take it. I will so take it. If I could have my lantern on just all the time, 24-7. Tinderbox! All the time, 24-7, I totally would. Okay. Now, I don't know really what else in here. Okay. We'll go down there in a second, but... Oh my god. How many... How many books can someone have? Hartlib's death. Hartlib died in 1662 in poverty. Oh, that's sad. Close friends reported that he had lost his pension and se severed contact with many of his correspondents as the restoration began. By the end of his life, the Hartlib circle had dissolved and he was living in seclusion. Though his official date of death on the 10th of March, others have suggested a later date. No official funeral was held, nor was a body buried. Huh. As Harlan never married and had no children, his properties were put for auction and bought by a private investor. Okay, was he pulling, like, a Count of Monte Cristo there? That is the correct reference, right? <laughs> Where he buys his own stuff? Yeah, I don't think Hartlib ever actually died. Just a thought. Is that where the monster comes out? I swear to God. Okay, so let me go try to use this hand, hammer and chipper on uh, this thing over here. I'm not going to say anything during the entire trip, too. Okay. So, here... Well, oh, God, thank God. Just in case I need to hide in there, I like to cheat. Hang on. Fuck. Okay, there's a key in there. You. Okay. The tension is mounting. Okay, let's read this stupid note. Samuel, 1700. It pains me to seal the clock so soon after its completion, but I had no choice. I thought I had escaped from the college, but I should have known it was only a matter of time until they found me. I was forced to use all of my alcohols to fight the monsters off, searing their flesh, leaving none left to carry out my plan. I knew... That's so creepy. I knew the monsters would return to break into the vaults below, so I had no choice but to seal it. I also dressed one of the dead monsters in my clothes and hacked it to pieces. <coughs> <coughs> it may not be enough to fool them, but there's little else I can do. Even if by chance they break through my barriers, I thankfully have other means of defense. My guardians are not all powerful, but they should slow the monster's progress. Samuel. Huh. Okay. So, gotcha. Hmm. Here we go. What is it? Give me. <laughs> no. Don't make me go. 
Don't do it. What does it say? The rare book section. Don't make me. Don't make me. I don't wanna. No. No. Okay, nothing's happened yet. Good. I was expecting something to happen, like, on the sides of those. Eh. Yeah. Go. Why? Why is it dark over there? Shut it. Shut it. Okay. So, these are the rare books. Um, I'm gonna just... Oh, excuse me! Yeah! When I throw you against the wall, you die! Oh my god. What is that? What am I pushing? This one is different looking than the rest. Damn it. Okay, there is a thing. It doesn't move, though. Oh, that's like the second time that I've had trouble with that, though. Mithraic Mysteries. Scholars are divided on the origin of these practitioners, as their temples are spread all across Europe. Most prominent among the theories are that the religion sprung from early Persian or Zoroastrian religions. Few materials survive from the early centuries, and they held no public ceremonies, instead offering to worship inside their Mithraeum. Many of these temples, sunk and below the ground and windowless, remain hidden to this day. Their rituals concentrate on sacred religious icons, though materials are unclear about their exact shape. Great, that was very informative. Thank you. Pretty sure I moved that, but... Yeah, you remember that statue? I had a hard time moving that one, too. I don't know why. It's just hard to... I can't move it. Wait, why... Oh, that's a. That's why. It's because it's a book. Maybe if I... Maybe if I move all the books off of it, it'll make it lighter and easier to move. Yeah, right. When is, that, when is that ever... That is what I would do, though. Come here. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Come here. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Get it. Get it. One left. Yeah. Come here, you stupid. Oh. 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 You, you're supposed to do that. Okay, usually what happens here is it's like, but it can't be broken by hand, and you're like, well, I'll just click it a bunch of times. Okay, well. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Eh! Okay, well, open up. Whoa! Okay. I just had to hit it exactly the right way. I guess. What the hell is all this? The long clock. With the help of the gray engineers of the circle, my greatest creation has been realized. I have built a clock that ticks but once a year. The first dial advances at midnight on December 31st. The second dial advances on the beginning of a new century. This clock will keep time accurately for the next 10,000 years. I have built it not to record what regular people perceive as time, but what the universe perceives. Deep time. This clock will continue to tick until after I have died. Oh, sorry. After I have died. After my family has disappeared from existence and civilizations have risen and fallen. Buried beneath the library, the gears have been crafted from the finest metals to resist corrosion over the centuries. The steam system is pressurized by the weights of the drivers, which must be wound for the clock to display the proper time. When the drivers are raised, the clock is wound, and the gears will adjust the clock to display the current year, regardless of how long it has been unwound. Congratulations, Hartlib. You made a clock. I'm so very happy for you.
I mean, okay. Thanks, I guess. Does it... Well, what's behind this? Whoa, did you see that? What force? <laughs> oh. Well, can I not go? Oh. What the? Can I not go the other way? Damn. What's happening? What happened was not an accident. There was a will governing this stone, and that was why it had reacted so violently to Moriaean's touch, but not his. Hartlib wondered if they had, for however short time, caught God's attention. Hmm. I don't know, but you're weird. Oh. Oh, God. Is it Kerk time? It's Kerk time, isn't it? Why would it not be Kerk time? Fuck you, man. Ooh! How come I can't get on that shit? Look at it. Popping around like that. Okay, this is... Fuck you, man. Oh. Okay. Alright, calm down. You have note to self. Can't get on those sh shitheads. Okay. All right, ooh, sandy boat. Ow, fuck you! I guess being on the chair doesn't count. Uh, note to self, if you're barely conscious, um, you will go back to uh, bleeding out or whatever the other one is. Dude, you're over there, you fuckhead. He's over there. You guys see this? Hey. Eh. I guess that doesn't really distract him. I just want to get the Sandy Potion. Eh. Ow, he killed me. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Stay out of the water, kind of impossible when it's filling the room, don't you think? <laughs> Thank you for the advice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright. Where is he? Okay. Let's see, is there anything in here? I mean... Hey, get out of the way. I can't move that shit. <laughs> okay, well... I'm guessing there's nothing really in here anyways. Nope. Probably not. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. Oh my god, do I have to... I do, don't I? Okay. Here, I gotta jump on this shit first. There's a bar in the way, by the way. Okay. Get... Oh my god. Calm thyself. Okay, over there. I swear to god. We're well, an idiot, so... Have fun with that. Have fun with being an idiot. Okay, so that's lit. Um, okay. I don't know where he is right now. I don't think he knows where he is right now. I guess he was right there! Shit! <laughs> oh, God! Guess what, idiot? Over there! Fucking stupid. There you go. Yeah, dummy, go over there. Holy Fuck. Holy shit! Oh my god. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm barely conscious again, I think. Um. Whew. Okay, so I can get up on top of these, but I don't think I can really. Oh, I know what I have to do. Fuck, I can't do that. Oh great, you're right there. I might as well just die at this point. I was gonna try to move this. Oh! Right here, you move right here. Okay. Oh, hey! There's a escape. Okay. Whew. Might as well just help myself out there. Uh. Eh. Oh, Phew. I sound so nervous. Just said, "Ooh." Eh. Oh God, I was like, "Eh." <laughs> okay. Oh, congratulations. Ow! What? Let me get up. Shit. Does that hurt me? Thanks a lot. What's the memento? The fall badly injured me. I have to heal. Well, hopefully there's something in this fucking chest over here. Open. Oh, get. Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you serious? Something in the Zelda chest. Let's go. I know I have laudanum, but it's just so much more dramatic this way. Take the books! Daniel, what are you doing here? That was clearly your voice. Okay, wait, there's another one. <laughs> Shut it. Oh, what are you doing? You're so weird. Oh. Okay, of course not. Da -da -da -da. Oh my. Seriously? I just, I just want a laudanum. Get, get. Open, I swear to God. Okay. There you go. Why is this why is this harming my sanity? Is it the the angel or what? Okay, you can calm down now. <laughs> what was that? You guys hear the crinkling? Ooh! Thanks! It has, uh, has no oil. Which is just fine with me. Ooh. Oh, thanks! Well, I guess we're screwed. Easy peasy! Clockwork! The vacant mansion in Dartmouth was perfect for their purposes. It sat on a plot of land just outside the main city, peaceful and secluded. The empty shelves would be more than enough to relocate Moriaean's personal library, and the large cellar could be easily renovated into a laboratory. You didn't give me enough. This is, wow, this is, oh shit. It like, this is elaborate. Oh my god, good job, Damascus. Holy crap. Dude, okay, I've, I've, I opened like the Amnesia map editor like once and that was enough. I was like, okay. Wait, am I going? <laughs> no, I, that would have given me an aneurysm mapping that. As Hartlev concentrated on the stone, he suddenly became aware of the universe. Information poured into his mind and back out again. Morier Yin caught him as he stumbled into the weight of everything. Everything with a capital E. Hartlib hesitated momentarily before slipping into something more comfortable. Oh god. Um, excuse me? I already have... You think I'm just gonna take one of those? You are crazy. Okay. Now that we're through with the crazy talk... I swear to god. For some reason... Data books! Is there some reason? What is that? I saw it. Samuel, 1662. Though the shard is merely a broken object now, with intense concentration and repeated practice, I've been able to draw out a great deal of its power. 
I have finally been able to create what I believe to be the fifth element, Karmot. Its uses are widely varied and incredible. When mixed with heated acids, oh god, am I going to have to do more chemistry? I swear to god. When mixed with heated acids, their corrosiveness increases many times fold. I am very close to creating the legendary solvent, a true alkahest. I have also been experimenting with another compound of Karmot that gives incredible life extending properties. My roses that have been grown with it have not wilted for many, many years. I wonder what effect it would have on humans. My biggest regret is that Johan is not here to see this day. I am finally succeeding where the two of us failed so long ago. I don't know why everybody's signing on the other page. It really bothers me. There's no more, no more Karmot left to use. Thanks. Wasn't sure about it, but thanks. Good God. Let's go this way. Hey, more oil. Thanks. Oh, a few drops of oil, you say? Thank you. Now it has none. It has none now. Hmm. What is it? Well, interesting it's dripping up there. I can, like, jump around and, and stuff. Oh, God. Ooh, this is kind of... You'd be, like, invinci like, invulnerable back there. You could hide really well. Okay, let's move on. Oh, God. Don't do that yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Well, thanks. Oh my God, what's going to happen when I pick up the rose? The rose infused with a strange substance. Okay. Well, what happens when I take these? Well, now I've got two hammer and shepherds. Maybe I should keep them separate for now. I don't know why that. I, I guess, I guess if you, but then you wouldn't be able to get to this point if you had already missed them. Uh, what am I doing? Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I've got Aquaregia. I've got. Okay, let's get going with this. Oh God. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing I put the rose in here then. I do. Okay, and then I extract it with the chemistry pot, maybe? Okay. Because it's Carmot. Okay, that's what it's called. Yeah. But still, I don't understand what this does because I can't turn it on. I think I need to, well, Aquaregia, Karmot, do I, do I put the Aquaregia in here? Dear God, I don't know why it's doing that to me. Oh, now I can heat it. Okay, so now do I, oh, that is what I do. Well, thanks. Sweet, thank you. Oh, may I put it in the glass jar? Alkahest, a legendary solvent of incredible strength. And I got two of the shards. What is going on here? Well, maybe I can use it on this. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oops. I didn't know you were right there, shit. I was like, I'll just run past him to the exit. Are you, not, are you seriously not gonna break down the door, you brute? Shit. All right, we'll just have to battle it out with him. He gave up. What? The latch has been bent. Um. 
What do you mean the latch has been bent? So am I just supposed to go insane in here? Shit. Um, how are you supposed to get out of here then? Oh God. Flammable gas. Uh. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> oh my God. What just happened? What I do? What I do? Uh. What do I do? Nope. This is probably really stupid. Nope. Why would I do that? Why would I destroy that stuff? Um. Well, I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh. Okay. Maybe if I. Can that flame reach over there? Okay, well then what was that for? Oh, maybe if I... Sorry. I can't tinderbox this, can I? Okay. Dude, that's flammable Get. Oh, ow. That is what you do. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> it doesn't go up here, does it? Nope. There's no there's no point. I don't think. Pretty sure it's not. Wow. <sighs> okay, what is the deal with some of these textures? Look at this. Look, the like the, the white background is on this chain for some reason. I don't know why I've I've noticed that with a couple of the I guess it's my computer's fault. I don't know, I do know that I tried to play Insomnia. I think that was like the last custom story I tried to play. And I think it messed some things up. So I'm gonna blame it on that for now. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really wanna go all the way down there just yet. Um, me. I like how I was complaining about Laudanum earlier this playthrough, and now I actually need some more. What? That's new. Okay. That is definitely new. What's this over here? Clockwork. Oh, it goes back to the clock. Weird. Open up. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh no! Is it a lever puzzle? I swear to god, I don't like lever puzzles. Oh! Is there any hint or is. Are you just throwing me to the wolves? Am I supposed to be stopping the clock? What is happening here? Okay, I'm not doing anything until I get some clues. So, just, you know, keep that in mind. Okay, I'm gonna go to the clocks then. We can go down there a little later, but I'm gonna go back out here first to see if there's any notes or anything. A portion of the east wing had collapsed, and the burns on Moriayan's hands would take some time to heal. When Moriayan asked what had happened, Hartlib hesitated to tell him about the distant roar he had heard just after he touched the stone. They've got those two have got some drama they need to work out between themselves. Oh, so the clock's not working. Oh, well, it only ticks once a year, but still. Okay, so I can go all the way down there. What is this? E driver. This is kind of like this is really weird. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens when we go down. Sure, why not? Hey, what's up? That that one's moving slowly. It's not. It's not catching though. Why isn't it catching? There's a. Did you see the ladder back there? And then, man, this place is a freaking maze, dude. Pick it up. <laughs> what is the what is the problem here? Pick it up, put it right there. I'll hammer it for you. I'll even chipper it for you. I'll even hammer and chip it for you. Okay. I can see that that's not going to work. Just pick it up. It's really easy. Pick it up. Put it right there. Go in that room. Damn it. Here, look. Look at this. You just... See back there? There's a... Hmm. Heh! <laughs> Ow. 
Did that really hurt? Are you serious? You're serious. Oh my god. I jumped like this high up. How does that make a wound bleed? Okay, I don't... I'm not even gonna try to logic through that. But I'm guessing from the soothing music in the background that we are at peace right now. Okay. Open. Let's go to E driver. Harlem's hand froze in mid-stroke, gripping the quill tightly. He crumpled up the unfinished letter and threw it aside. The Hartlib Circle had been created to gather all of the world's knowledge and make it available for all mankind, but they weren't yet ready to learn about the stone. He's very protective about that Philosopher's Stone. I tell you what, boy, howdy. What? Don't worry about it. So there's no power over here, huh? Okay, there's a grunt. There's a grunt in there. Eeeh. Why'd I do that? Do you hear all that shit in there? Like, that's annoying, man. Okay. Alright, let's go. Sure. Let's go. What's the worst I could have? Oh my god, why are there so many in there? Oh my god. Okay, maybe not yet. Let's go! Let's. What am I talking about? Let's go. Fuckheads, let's go. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going back to the clock. He could sense that he was getting closer to the truth day by day. He kept his colleagues at arm's length, knowing he could never tell them the truth. Knowing that one day he may have to leave the circle to protect his discovery. Or perhaps to protect them from it. Thank you very much. I don't know what that asshole was doing. I'm sorry I interrupted your worship of the fucking angel or whatever. Very sorry. Let me back in. Come on. Don't tell me he's still there. Hey, he's gone. Frickin' more levers? Do I just have to make them match? Oh my god, I don't know. Oh. How does that turn the power on? Ugh. Okay, well. I'm glad, I guess. Ooh, look at that ass. Okay, sorry. I thought I could actually cut through there. Okay, so this, what do I do? Oh. Oh, they just have to be pulled in a specific order. Oh, of course. Go. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know if I had to make a match or what was the deal. So I just gave up. Hey! 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 Sweet! I got the clock working! And the angel's gone! Weird! Whoa! Weird wild stuff! Crazy! Okay. Well, let's get back out here then. Because there- I remember there was- there were some more lovers over there, but I didn't even touch them. So, I- I mean, I hope not. Uh, I hope I, not, I wasn't supposed to do anything to him. Yeah, what's weird is that I, uh, when I record this game, it records the loading screens, which it's never done before, so that's weird. Hey, it's moving. Cool. Okay. 
Hey, maybe there's like a thing I can jump on. Alright. I think I tried this before. Ow. That hurts. I don't have any laudanum. Fuck. Oh yeah, you get on one of these. Okay, so I do have to get up there. Shit, did I? I guess I just gotta keep doing this. Cause it's like the only way, right? Is to jump on top of here. Okay, maybe I gotta get up higher. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh! No! Ow, no. <laughs> Shit. I gotta wait for it to go all the way back across. So, in terms of, uh... Custom story quality, this one is really high up on the list. Uh, one of you guys was asking me, uh... How this ranked in terms of, uh, my top custom stories. Because I did, I do have a top ten custom stories video. Uh, I'm not really sure where you can, uh... View it. I, I have it in a playlist somewhere. Um, anyway. But, uh... Yeah, they're asking where great work landed on that. I don't know yet. Because I haven't, like, <laughs> finished the game. I mean, oh my god, I swear to shit! Ah! Okay, go, 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 I don't want to do this again. Yeah, I haven't finished it, but it's really good so far. Ah! Why am I so bad at that? Good god! Okay, well, we're definitely gonna have to wait for it to go back around now. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe if I just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. I'm an idiot. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Guess who's stupid. Oh, me. Ugh. Swear. Oh, I swear. Oh. Oh my god. So we're finally in the vault. Ooh. One thing that's nice about this custom story, though, is that it's really long. It's really, really long, which is nice. Okay. So. Where... Where are we? Okay. Don't... Don't come after me just yet. I think I heard that golem. Hope he uh, stays away from me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, that's all that was in here. Shh. Will you freaking move it. Okay, don't open that just yet, or uh, read it. Okay, fine. Samuel, 1690. They claim to have made the perfect homunculus, but it's nothing but an abomination. They realized how powerful the shards are and took a shortcut. They ripped the heart out of a living human being and forced it to do their bidding. Their minds are no longer their own, but have instead been replaced by something more sinister. They single-mindedly hunt down the other shards, and by extension, myself. And I was able to enter their temple undetected, and there I found them. The hearts of the monsters that used to be men now replaced by the glowing shards. I managed to take one before being detected and barely escaped with my life. The, this heart is still a part of that monster. It beat in my hands, a reservoir of life for that abomination. Like the monsters themselves, the flesh cannot be pierced with a knife. I must complete the alkahest. If I can destroy the heart, the beast will die. Thank you, Heartlip. This is what he wanted me to find. I have to destroy the heart. Okay, of that freaking golem thing? All right, well, cool. I mean, okay. So what is this uh, cog for? Am I supposed to do something with it? Usually, usually it's, uh, you can identify which cogs are useful and which ones are not. That one looked like it needed to be uh, retrieved. Not the one with the with the lack of spokes. I don't know, maybe I'm just off. Who knows? 
I need to do something with this shit. What is this thing? Oh, oh my god, it's just a clock. But the texture is there for some reason. Did the books? Yeah, I don't know why the textures in this game are, are kind of... In this custom story, rather, are kind of off. I don't know, custom stories are games. I mean, they are. It's just, it's just using the amnesia engine, like... I don't know, I don't see the big deal. I knew it! Okay. So I need to go back and get that cog, huh? Shit. What is this, real quick? Okay, I gotta go get it then. Whew! <laughs> Not there. Oh, here. Right. Okay. Eh. I always thought that the uh, physics were done really well in Amnesia. I mean, you know, uh... Oh, fuck! Well, I guess I, guess I just got foiled. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh god, it scared me. I didn't see him. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Get up, dude. Get up. Okay, so I do have to escape from him. Ah, shit. Okay, it doesn't help. Can't fucking see. What's happened? Did it close the door behind me? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> well, at least I got away from him, I guess. Right? All right, dude. I'm, I've 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 had enough of this fainting. It's like amnesia, nepsis all over again. Oh, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, well, I guess I can't. But, oh, but I need to. Maybe he left. Oh no, I can't. Shit. Man, but I was gonna get it, get something working again. I don't know what. But that was some sort of, you know, machinery there. He could sense that he was getting closer to the truth, blah, blah, blah. I've already read that. Okay. Just gotta make sure, you know. Okay, so we're back in clockwork. Uh... Well, okay. Ow! That hurt. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, I'm barely conscious. Maybe I can use a paragoric. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! This is the... This is the heart! Uh... of the orb. I am barely conscious though. Okay, so you get you get like a new piece of the orb every chapter basically. Cuz that was so this is the end of chapter 3. I think so anyway. 
Yeah, here we go. Well, if you enjoyed this video, like it. I'm gonna feel really stupid if it's not. I will see you guys later for amnesia, the amnesia, amnesia.